to Jorge Garcia. On the table today, the Airbus A380. This is the giant EPO model that I did a review of four years ago, which also is one of my most seen videos on my channel. Uh, the reason that I have it today is that a friend of mine owns this one. Uh, I have just uh, flown this baby and I will link the video under here of course and the main problem is that after I crashed mine I got a lot a lot of lot of uh, questions about how to set up the radio how to set up uh, elevon setting and uh, which setting is the best but I haven't got the plane so I could never do the reviews. I tried to uh, purchase the uh, plane many places, but they were out of stock. So, but now I have it, and I will make the video that all of you guys out there uh, requested so many times. Uh, there are two settings that you can use on this airplane. One of them is ordinary aileron elevator settings. You can also snip the. Uh, back of the side rudder and make it a functional rudder. Uh, there are no rudder here, but you can feel when you put, put your fingers here that the lights are already pre-cut, so you can just sort of make an incision here and here and start to just to move it and put a servo where, uh, wherever you want it. But I have flown both settings, uh, normal settings and elevon settings uh, and the elevon setting is uh, the best settings that I uh, used. So anyway, uh, for you guys that don't, uh, don't know what elevon is, that means uh, you set it up just the way as you set up your uh, ordinary uh, wing or uh, just two rudder plane, a uh, wing shaped plane. And that means when the aileron on the right wing goes up, uh, the elevator rudder will go up as well, together creating a double lift or dual lift. Also on the takeoff, the turns, everything you do with the aileron, the elevator would do the same. So that's called aileron mixing. But the problem is that when people set up with aileron, they won't can, can't get the rudders to go the same way and so on. Uh, I remember when I first set up my Airbus, I had problem because I was new to this aileron mixing. But now it's already inside my head, so it would be even easier to help you. Um, I'm going to pop off the wing and show you the inside of uh, the plane and how you're going to do this, okay? So, here I have taken the fuselage from the wing and as you can see inside here you have two uh, servos for the elevator and on one of these you have a Y cable. If you don't have a Y cable, you have to get one. Anyway, these two uh, were connected to each other. And the reason they were connected, it, it was because the stock setup on this one, because this came with a radio, it was uh, ordinary rudder setup, aileron for aileron, elevator for elevator. But we want to make a elevon mixing so that we can get even better lift and more scale like lift when the plane takes off the ground. So what I'm going to do, I'm sorry, what I'm going to do is uh, remove one of these and make sure that you know what's right and what's left elevator, okay? So we have the main wings with the ailerons is on this and here you also have uh, a Y cable and we will disconnect one of the sides like that and what's important to know here as well is the right side and the left side so I want to connect the left elevator with 
the left aileron on the Y cable of course. So I'll take the left uh, elevator and put it into the left aileron like that. And the same goes to the right one, the right elevator together with the right aileron like that. Okay, uh, now I have bind the receiver and I actually noticed when I was um, putting the servos in the, in the receiver that these ones are crossed inside the fuselage so the left servo is for the right rudder on the elevator so make sure that you know this before you put uh, the servo connectors together. So anyway I have left aileron with the left elevator in a Y harness and that one is set uh, on the elevator and the right system is set on elevator and the mix that I'm using or not mix the reverse that I'm using as you can see here is uh, up on both uh, elevator and, uh, and elevator but you can see here it says right aileron and left aileron so that doesn't matter okay I'm done with the setup now uh, take a note that if you have a Futaba or high tech or a Taranis radio or different radio than the Spectrum the, the settings may of course be different but I'm doing this setup with the Spectrum so what you want now is that your uh, right uh, elevator should go the same way as the right aileron. So we will test that out and that works. You see? And also you see the difference because the elevator also acts as a control unit in sort of the way you set up your wing. Why would I use this setup? Okay, uh, a simple reason for that is when you use an uh, elevator like this, you have elevator also on the main wing. The wings are mainly V-shaped, as you can see, and when you use less throw on the aileron, that means you can set up the links, uh, link holder for the aileron uh, on the outer uh, hole and on the elevator link you can set it into the inner hole on uh, the uh, rudder links. I'm going to show you uh, and this will give you less throw on the aileron but we will have a bit lift and when the elevator pushes the back of the plane down you will have this scale beautiful lift on the, the plane this is how I feel though because many people fly it with the original settings like ailerons, ailerons, elevator, elevator, rudder, rudder. Okay, so now you see how it works. I'm going to set up the links now and show you what I mean about using the inner and outer holes. So, Okay, what you're watching now is the uh, rudder, uh, rudder link for the aileron. What I want to do with this one is that I want to use the top hole, the upper hole for the links and make sure that you use a uh, rubber tube over the link holders because these clamps so they don't loosen. On the elevator I want to use the bottom holes so I want I want to put the, these link clamps on the bottom let's check out like that now this one is broken so I'm going to fix that one this was the requested setup video for the Airbus A380. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Um, a lot of talking, I'm sorry, but that's the only way to explain. 
So, see you guys later. Bye.